What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you a visual review of something I haven't done or I've not done this in a while but thought I would share it since I now have access to it and that's the magic eraser technology of the Pixel phones now available in Google Photos. So if you are a Google One subscriber as of this recording, it will be available for you or it should be available to you. Um, I am on the Android, or sorry, on the OnePlus 10 Pro, 10 Pro running Android 13. Everything is all up to date as far as available software updates, app updates, and all of that. So the way you'll know if it's available to you is of course, make sure your Google Photos app is up to date. You're a Google One subscriber. And then when you go into any picture and you click on the edit button, you'll now see a Magic Eraser tool. So if you go over to tool, and in some cases it will be available in suggestions as a suggested edit. But if you don't see it there, you can go over to tools and you'll see Magic Eraser with the one next to it. So when you touch it, it'll give you suggestions on stuff to erase. But if you don't see some the, the suggestions, you can also manually do it. So in the case of this picture that you see here, there's this person standing here that I kind of wanted to not have in the picture. But unfortunately, that person was standing still, turning around, kind of like a greeter in this particular area. So what you'll do is you'll now drag your finger around him or her, or whoever you want to erase. And it'll do that. You'll see that I kind of picked too wide of an area. So I'll undo it and I'll pick a smaller area. And it'll automatically detect them and remove them from the picture. And once you're done, you can um, hit done, and make any other changes that you want and hit save copy. I'm not gonna do it in this case, but as you can tell, it, and also if you you know zoom in and out a little bit, um, in general, it actually does a pretty good job of erasing stuff. You see a little bit of residue um, around that pole, but for the most part, it actually did a pretty good job. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, what about if there's a lot more stuff to remove? So I'm going to discard that, and I'm actually going to go over to another picture where, in this case, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of people to remove where you can remove them manually, but um, hitting the edit button again, you'll see that um, if there's a suggested um, way for Google Photos to erase people, then it will provide that option to you. So if you click on Magic Eraser, it'll find suggestions for you and um, give it a little time and it'll give you, it'll show you all these things to erase. Now you can do erase all if you want to erase everybody, but the little p the piano player that you see over to the left a little bit to the left of this that planter area I want to keep. So the thing you can do is actually touch on specific areas and you can zoom in and out to erase specific things. But I want to erase specific people. So I'll zoom into that area and now I'm going to zoom into this area and remove some of these other people. And um, I'm actually going to remove all these people. And you now have a very clean picture and you can see for example some of these small pictures kind of get blur get a little bit blurry so that's actually okay so what I'm gonna do and you can it looks like if you individually remove people um, it'll actually undo them one by one so I'm actually going to and actually in retrospect it wasn't actually that bad so I'm actually going to keep all those edits and when you hit done, it'll process it and you now have a removed picture clean of all these people and you can zoom in and out to see the results. And in general, it is actually a very good thing and, it's a, and you can see why it's called Magic Eraser because it is very magical. You do see a little bit of blurring on the road here for where the people used to be if you zoom in a lot, but if you zoom back out, it is actually kind of, it's a little bit harder to tell. It looks a little bit weird. You could also kind of explain it away as a panorama picture. So in general, um, it's a pretty good thing, but it's one of those things too that it actually does a nice job of detecting stuff. You can individually re delete stuff if you want to manually do stuff. So even if you want to, um, try and manually delete stuff then you can do that as well so for example um 
I guess if we want to try and remove this tree, you can put your, put a circle around it. It'll do its best to delete it, and you can do that. So it's a very powerful tool. I can see why um, Google is promoting it very heavily. Um, in general, I don't know if I hear a lot of promotion about it, but the few people I have talked to about it um, generally do rave a lot about um, the Magic Eraser tool. So um, very well, or it's a very handy tool, and you do get that little suggestion that the more you zoom in to delete stuff, the better it will do at removing that stuff and blending it in with the background. So that's all there is for this particular review. I kind of, because I just got it, I thought I would share it, share my initial thoughts of how powerful it is. Like I said, in general, it's a very good tool. So um, now I actually do want to play with it a little bit more to let people be in my shots and then play with the eraser tool to see how well it um, performs in everyday shots. Mostly because like these shots, I was actually aiming to not have as many people in the shots, but I want to try and worry less about it so I can use the tool a little bit more to not only practice using it but see how well the tool performs but initial take on it is that it is actually a very very good and handy tool it does a very good job um, it's kind of a you know a amped up version of the healing tool that you have in Snapseed so if you like that particular feature of Snapseed called healing which you can actually get for free in the via the app on the Google Play Store this kind of takes that up a few notches and says and automatically detects stuff, keeps the picture as clean as possible, and like it says, magically erase um, things from your picture. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any feedback, comments, thoughts, uh, do you like or dislike this tool? And you can um, comment on this post on the various social media networks by visiting headphonesneal.reviews, which also has links to all the subscription options, way to support the show, past episodes, and all of that good stuff. And of course, for the audio listeners, this episode will also be up on the YouTube channel. So I'll have a link in the show notes to it. But the YouTube channel is youtube.com slash at Patel N01. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode and review. And until next time.